What's up everybody? So we did a video on this side on how to sand and polish stainless and everybody's been asking for a better how to polish stainless video. Um, and as I said in the previous video, this side here is all scratched up with 400 grit and SOS pad. So I did both of those. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna buff that out and I'm gonna show you that you don't always have to sand. Everybody thinks they have to sand all the time and I'm gonna show you that that's simply not true. I'm gonna show you that I can actually blend up the part that I didn't sand with the side that is sanded. So if you do have strap marks from, um, if you're going strapless with your, with your air cleaners, you can sand just the strap areas and blend it all together. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So I'm gonna try to do this kind of quick so it's not a crazy long video for you. Um, all we're simply gonna use is a stiff buff with a stainless compound, and then we're gonna jump into a softer buff with a softer stainless compound. A um, little greasier, easier to wipe off, and uh, I'll show you how to do that. Stay with me real quick, try to pay attention, and uh, I'll try to make this video as quick and painless as possible. Respirator, bing. My stiff buff, my stainless cutting compound. All right, so if you got a lot of scratches in your stainless like this thing did, and you're not feeling like you're ready to tackle sanding yet, this video is showing you exactly how I would do it if I didn't want to sand it. This is exactly how I used to do it back when I didn't know how to sand it and when I didn't want to sand it. Um, as you saw, I cut in like four different directions, right? I tried not to catch edges, but those four different directions took out every single scratch that's in here. Now I'm gonna grab my color bar and I'm gonna color this out and just watch and I'll show you at the end here um, 
quickly what it looks like when it's finished. So follow with me, I'm gonna color this out real quick. Softer buff, my coloring compound. Alright, now I know the camera at home isn't picking all this up, but there's a lot of excess grease on here. So all I'm going to do is take some whiting powder, available on GoShineOn.com forward slash shop, and I'm just going to use a little bit of it to take all of all of that excess grease. As we've said before, a lot of old polishers used to use flour, cornstarch, that kind of stuff. Um, we don't use that. We use whitening powder here. Um, that whitening powder takes off any excess residue without affecting our finish. Now we don't use this on aluminum once in a great while on a forged wheel or something. I only really use it on stainless. But I'm going to get in close here in a couple seconds. Um, I'm going to insert a quick video here on uh, what it looks like close up and how closely these two match together. But all the scratches are completely out of this side. All that stuff that I put in there with 400 grit and the SOS pad is completely gone. So for those of you that think you have to sand it, I just showed you you don't, and I just showed you a close up video of the two side by side and showed you that it isn't really necessary. Um, both sides look exactly the same here in person. I don't know how they look on film until I go to edit them here, but um, I think it looks perfect. If this was me or it was my truck, my cab over doesn't really have stainless cans on it, but if it did, I'd be happy with either one. Both of these look really great. Um, I hope you guys are finding these videos helpful. I hope that uh, you guys are watching a lot of the other videos that we put up. Uh, I'm glad to see all the people's comments and thumbs up in them. Um, really appreciate you guys watching all these videos and I'm glad to help out. Um, if you're looking for more information and you don't find it in any of my, my videos, they are also, I am also available for questioning. We also do in-house training, so you can always do that as well. But check these out. If you got any questions, send them in the comments, or you got my cell phone number, it's on all my videos. Hit me up, catch you later. Appreciate you watching.